This is Jerem Adair from InternetMarketingForBusinessOwners.com and welcome to this tutorial on setting up your website. I'm going to show you how to get your website address, a website host, and give you some tips on the best way to go about getting those things. These are the basic things that you need to create any kind of a website. And talk about what to do if you want to build a good website but you're not a technical person. Now if you already have a website that you're happy with and you don't think you're paying too much for it, then you could watch this and you might learn a few good tips. But if you're still in the market for a website or you're confused about where to go and what to do to get a website up and running, then this tutorial is definitely for you. To create a website, you need a domain name, that's your website address, and a website host. This is what it looks like. Your domain name is whatever name you want people to type into their web browser to get to your website. So it's www.yourbusiness.com or maybe it's just www.yourname.com. You know, anything you want. And I'll give you some tips on selecting a domain name in just a moment. You also need a website host. Now I'm getting really basic here for a moment, but a lot of people don't know how this works. So let me show you how everything fits together to make a website work. When someone types in your domain name, your website will pop up, right? You're going to have pictures and text and videos on the website and all these pictures and everything have to be stored someplace. Just like videos and documents take up space on your computer at home, all the information you have on a website takes up space. It has to be stored someplace, and it has to be stored someplace where, 24 hours a day, someone can type in your domain name and everything on your website will show up. This is what a website host will do for you. Web hosts have large computers that are running 24-7 and make sure that anytime someone types in your web address, even if it's 2 a.m. in the morning, all your website pictures and text and videos and everything will show up and you'll make money and find new prospects and customers in your sleep. Very nice. So how do you actually get a web address and a website host? Here's what I do when I'm looking for a domain name. This is Bluehost. When you want to see what domain names are available, this is a good place to start. It's pretty simple. First, click Domain Check. Here, you want to think up a name for your website and type it in. If you're selling flowers, try flowers.com. It's taken, no surprise, so you'll want to try something else. Let's try beautifulgardenflowers.com. I know that's not taken, but play around with this and find something that works for you. Try several domain names. Use the name of your company or something related. The key is to just get something to get started with. Domain names are cheap, and after you read all the articles on this website about keywords and search engine optimization, you might want to get another domain name. But for right now, you want to get a name and a website up and running because, trust me, everything I'll talk about on the Internet Marketing for Business Owners site is so much easier to follow if you have a website to apply it to. You're going to learn something here and you're going to say to yourself, oh, I know where I can use that on my website, and you'll use it. Whereas if you don't have a website and you're trying to learn everything you need to do first and keep track of everything in your head, then you're going to get stuck in this information overload situation, and then you're going to start forgetting birthdays and anniversaries and the names of your children. So don't go there. So just pick up a domain name. It's not a big deal. But here's a couple of tips to get you started though. Ideally, your domain name will be descriptive. So when people see it, they'll know what the site is going to be about. Do you want a long descriptive name or a shorter, easier name? Here's the trade-off. The longer it is, the more descriptive it can be. And usually the better it is for search engines, but it takes longer to type, which is a pain for people typing in your address. The shorter it is, the harder it is to find a good name because most of the easy ones are taken, and the less descriptive it is. Flowers.com is less descriptive than beautifulgardenflowers.com. Now, I usually choose whether my website address will be long or short by how I'm going to market the website. This site, internetmarketingforbusinessowners.com, is a long name and a pain to type out but I knew ahead of time that I'd be marketing this site almost entirely online, which means that people don't have to type it. They click a link and they go to my website. So it doesn't matter how long the address is because click, 
and they're here. In case I had to write it down for somebody or want to market it offline, I got the acronym for internet marketing for business owners, imfbo.com, which admittedly sounds like I'm telling people I have body odor, but it's easier to type and that's the point. So grab a domain name. Once you find something you like, you can just follow the directions to buy it. No big deal. If you're someplace besides Bluehost, some places will offer you a bunch of extra stuff to add on to your domain name. Don't worry about any of that. And whatever you do, don't pay more than $10 a year for a web address. Anything more than that is a waste. Let's talk about hosts for just a moment. You can go all over the internet and find places that will host your website. Just type in host my website in Google and all sorts of things will come up. It doesn't have to be the same company that you get your domain name through, but it's kind of nice if it is. You have everything in one place. Just so you know, usually the smallest package that any host offers will be more than good enough for when you're just getting started out. As you get more traffic to your website, you may need to upgrade, but it'll take a little while to get to that point. Don't pay more than $10 a month for this. Anything more than that is just not necessary. So that's your domain name and hosting package. But before you do these things, there's one huge concern a lot of people have. And that is, do I have to be a computer whiz to make a website? Now if you're concerned about how to actually put together a website, and you've never done it before, it's actually getting easier and easier to do this on your own. 99% of the world doesn't want to have to learn how to deal with website code or programming languages. So many hosting companies now have nifty programs that will help you create a decent looking website without you having to learn any of the weird stuff that makes it work. Once again, this is usually going to cost extra money. Don't pay more than $10 a month for this either. That's one reason I'm using Bluehost as an example of where to get your domain name and hosting. Their website building program is free. Your domain name is free. You get unlimited storage space so you never have to upgrade and pay more. And you get email and a lot of other nice things. Everything for under $10 a month. It's a good deal. So check them out. I'll give you one other option too. Because there's one other place that has been around for a while. And I started hearing about this company a couple years ago. And it seems now that every month or two I run into somebody who highly recommends them. So I went and checked them out. It's a place called Site Build It. And Site Build It is also very good at helping new business owners get a website up and running without having to get technical. I'm always hearing great things about how easy they make it to start a website. In addition, they're very good at teaching people about getting high rankings in search engines. There's a lot of education on their website about search engine optimization. And if you want to easily start a blog, then they've got that already in place. If you want to create an email list with autoresponders and follow-up messages, that's already in place. And it's all included in their hosting, along with a free domain name. They do that too. SiteBuildIt makes doing all the marketing strategies I teach on this website very easy. It does cost more than Bluehost, so keep that in mind. But that's because it already includes things that usually cost you extra, like email list capabilities. If you're going to be putting the other marketing strategies I talk about on this site to work, Site Build It is certainly something to seriously look at. I would if I had to start over and I didn't know how to build websites. But whatever your situation, one of these two will work well for you. If you want great hosting at a great price, look at Bluehost. If you want the whole enchilada, look at Site Build It. They both have great customer support and they'll both teach you how to use their systems to get your website up and running quickly. So after you pick up a domain name and get your hosting in place, then basically you just give them a call and they'll walk you right through everything. You can't go wrong with either of them. The only way you can go wrong is to not create a website to start putting this information to use. So get a domain name and a host, create a basic website, and then you can take advantage of all the information on the rest of the Internet Marketing for Business Owners website. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.